Hello and welcome to the 15th or 16th tutorial on how to make a game in, in XNA. In the last tutorial we went over, we actually finished pathfinding and went over enemy collision with bullets except it wasn't working. And the reason for that is because in our collision method uh, we still have we still have a, on our if statement it says it has to be a solid object and we don't want that because our enemies are not solid so just get rid of that line and you should be good so let's go ahead and run it and there we go our bullets disappear when it hits the enemy and our enemy follows the player so everything's working fine and it seems good so next thing we want to go over is the enemy dies when they lose their health all their health so uh, let's actually put something in the update method just get rid of all this stuff right here we should get rid of this whole thing right here we don't need that t timer uh, say if health is less than zero alive equals false health equals max health and we haven't made a max health variable so I'm just going to say int max health equals 10 and then this here so let's make this a const const int max health equals 10 okay so now we have that so he should die and loses all his health. So after we're ch done shooting at him for a while, he should disappear. So should be like, yeah, okay. There we go. We killed him. So that looks good. Next thing. Now we want the player to lose health when uh, he is touched by the enemy. So let's see. This is going to be a little bit more complicated because we have to program some things on the enemy's part and the player's part so uh, actually let's get rid of these variables right here and instead of the queue timer we'll have a hit timer and a hit time so it can hit the player every second so uh, try to hit player. So let's make another method called try to hit player right under the update method and get rid of this. Cute. Here we We don't need it and we don't need these variables right here. Okay, there we go. So, actually, we don't even need this, this statement. Okay, well, we're getting sidetracked, so let's make this method now. Private void try to hit player. So, if if point distance uh, position dot x position dot y and then man dot man dot position dot x and man dot man dot position dot y so that is less than grid pathfinder dot grid size so basically if the player is within reaching distance he can try to hit the player uh, let's go ahead and right above our try to hit player we can have hit timer 
plus plus just to keep incrementing actually you know what let's make a whole another method just to increase timers or increment timers so I'm going to just make a method called uh, increment yes well it doesn't matter increment timers and in this method let's put it on the bottom it's unimportant unimportant private void increment increment timers and what this will do is just increment all the timers so timer uh, hit timer plus plus There we go. Okay. It looks good. So we don't need to have this here. So try to hit players. If hit timer is greater than hit time, so if it's and hit time is like six or one second, so every second he'll try to hit him so he can't like hit him every frame and instantly kill the player So once he's re within reaching distance and he's able to hit him hit timer equals zero reset the timer and then want to damage the player so I'm gonna go into the man class and add another uh, method called damage so public void damage she want to it's just like our enemy she enemy method come on so it damage and health minus equals damage we actually don't have a health variable for our player so <gasps> Actually, I'm just going to call it HP. So I'm just going to put a const int HP max or max HP equals let's say 100, and then int int HP equals max HP. Actually, just cut that and put it in the constructor so hp equals max hp there we go okay, I get rid of that why are we getting all these errors alright hp that should be good oh okay and there Get rid of all the errors. So now, when the enemy is within reaching distance and the timer is uh, done, then we set the timer and damage the player. So we just go man dot man dot hp. Okay, I wonder man dot man dot hp. Well, dot damage, right? And we're going to damage it by the damage the enemy does. So let's put how are we doing on time? Almost done. So uh, let's put another variable called private int damage and just put the damage variable in here. In the constructor, I'll just put uh, damage equals. Let's make him do 5 damage. How about that? So it takes 20 hits to kill the player. Or 20 seconds of exposure. And same thing for a bullet. I'm just going to put a damage variable. So private int damage. And this damage variable will be equal... You know, you have to set it... Actually, when you declare the bullet. So, so I'm going to put... It another argument in bullet so in damage so this 
dot damage equals damage. Okay. Now we're getting an error because of course we changed the constructor. So just have to change this to uh, zero. There we go. Actually, we don't need it here. We don't need the constructor. That was a bad idea. So I'm just going to set it to zero at default. And I'm just going to create a method in here uh, that says public int damage. And I'm not going to put any parentheses, so this becomes a property. And I'm just going to say, uh, put our set and get in here for our set. Uh, obviously, damage equals value. Get uh, return damage. Okay, there we go. So now, when the man shoots a bullet, we can set the damage. So let's see. Go into our shoot uh, method and put o dot damage. Oh right, we have to convert this. Okay, so uh, let's change this to everything instead of O to B. And create a new variable called B. So bullet B equals bullet. We convert it to a bullet. We're gonna convert O to a bullet, so there we go. And then B dot damage equals Three. There you go. Okay. So when we test this, uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna just test it real quick. Make sure everything works. Yep, everything does. Except that collision still work when he's dead, and we're gonna fix that in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching. We went a little overtime. Uh, appreciate it if you left a rating, and see you in the next tutorial.